So I think there is kind of a misnomer when it comes to, at least from the side that we see in the pharmacy side, that because somebody is not having a cycle, we put them on birth control pills. Yes. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> Let's a, talk about a, that one. That's it's a loaded. great one. That's a great one. <laughs> Do you disagree with that course of action, Janet? Are you saying Slightly. maybe not? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, let's think, let, let's just think about, I mean, let's just go back to what the definition of progesterone is, progestation mm-hmm. to, you know, and you already talked about it helps you have a, nor- a normal cycle. Yeah. Well, birth controls prevent pregnancy and, you know, essentially stop a normal cycle. So it makes no sense to fix PCOS by giving birth control pills. In fact, you could argue it could make it worse. Go. I would absolutely argue that it would make it worse. For And this is the first reason I'm going to start with. This is why it can make it worse. And this is why, ladies, if you do have PCOS, I absolutely would not recommend going on the birth control pill because the the two hormones that are in your birth control pill, so just the standard pill, are fake hormones, right? So we have an estrogen-like hormone, phenylestriol, and then we also have progestin, right? So this is not progesterone. They look very structurally similar at an atomic level, but they are not the same thing as a bioidentical hormone. And research actually does show that that progestin has a chemical structure, if you're looking at it from like an organic chemistry perspective, it has a chemical structure that looks more similar to an androgen like testosterone in the body than it does to progesterone itself. Here's the problem with that. Women with PCOS already have elevated levels of androgens in the body. So we see on blood work or something like the Dutch test, DHEA will generally be elevated. That's an anabolic hormone. It's an androgenic hormone. Testosterone is generally elevated um, with cases of PCOS. So, so you women who already have elevated levels of testosterone absolutely do not need more androgenic hormones, you know, coursing through your bloodstream throughout the month, right? This is going to lead to things like facial hair or weight gain or really, you know, oily skin, Um, you know, all those things where you're like, oh, that's like the opposite of what I want. What I want is a baby. You know, what I don't want is a beard. 